Libra, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do your love reading. Please remember this is a general reading. Everything you need to know is in the description box. I also want to note that um, I'm not doing any personal readings uh, through the end of the year. Just a little hectic. Um, if you check back with me after the 26th, um, I will do uh, emergency readings if needed. Uh, I, I won't be able to take everybody, but you know, just uh, it'll be case by case basis. And then um, if you want to enter my giveaway, details are below. I do do a giveaway each month. For November, December, we did uh, cash prizes and we also did some other prizes. So uh, I will be doing another giveaway uh, in January. So if you'd like to enter, details again are below. So let's get started, Libra. I hope you're doing well, staying healthy and safe. I just pulled uh, one card here from the uh, Energy Oracle cards. I'm gonna pull two cards here. Uh, this is another um, Oracle. This is a Love Oracle. And let's get one more card. Okay. So your first card uh, is number 39 which is 12 which equates to three you have the fifth uh chakra which is archangel uh gabrielle okay so um the fifth chakra here is about um this is your throat chakra so this can be about self-acceptance uh, this can be about uh, expression, speaking your truth, okay? Uh, this could be you or this could be uh, the person that you are dealing with, but somebody here is holding back from really expressing how they feel or speaking their truth, okay? Uh, Archangel Gabrielle here, um, I feel, um, is really trying to give you some some healing with your throat, throat chakra. So it may be that you're having a hard time expressing uh, something to someone here, okay? Or it can, you know, just be about loving yourself as well, okay? But it's really about speaking your truth and expressing yourself, all right? So you may be manifesting this as well, um, or this is part of your growth, okay, in the connection. Now your other uh, oracle cards, you have um, the Phoenix. So this is about new phases, rekindling, renew, transformation, growth. Somebody may change their mind here. So I feel in your connection here, there, the, it's going through some sort of new phase or transformation. It may be that somebody needs to speak their truth uh, for this to happen, okay? And then you have uh, kisses. So this is about unconditional love, uh, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. So I feel like you're going to um, receive some sort of loving expression from your person. And it may be that your person here is having a hard time expressing how they feel. Uh, you know, it can be you as well, Libra. Uh, but I feel Archangel Grab, uh, Gabrielle is trying to help transform this situation, okay? Help you um, also express uh, how you feel. But this is very positive. So there may be a rekindle, a renewal, or the connection is somehow uh, transforming. So let's pull um, some tarot. I actually already did some pre-shuffle beforehand, so I'm not gonna do a lot of shuffle. We're gonna get three cards uh, for the overall energy, two cards for your energy and two cards for your person. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Let's get three cards for the overall energy for Libra and their person. Let's get three cards, please. Okay, so let's get um, two cards for your energy, Libra. And let's get two cards uh, for your person's energy. And then later on, we will uh, pull the outcome. 
yeah wow okay oh look at this bottom of the deck here we have the eight of swords so i feel uh, libra you've been feeling stuck in this situation or maybe you've been feeling like things have not been moving uh, forward or you may be feeling uh, or you may be having some fears here about the connection I do see here there's a lot of worry or anxiety on your mind with this uh, nine of swords here and I feel you know it that anxiety that you feel or the worry that you feel it can be because you're not speaking your truth okay you may be holding in your emotions and your feelings and the situation and that could be too while you're worried or anxious here or not being able to sleep at night but it can just be that feeling of feeling stuck you're not sure uh, where the connection is going or some of you may be in separation and and not um, exactly sure you know what's going to happen here now the nice thing here is you have uh, the ten of pentacles and you have the ten of cups so this is just beautiful i feel this is uh, a situation that is going to transform into something very happy and something very beautiful even though there is some sort of worry here okay so for whatever reason that you're feeling stuck uh libra i feel that it's very very positive now it can be you know that if you know if you're in a marriage here or if uh you know you could be dealing with somebody who possibly uh could have a family um but you know i feel like this is more so uh you just being worried or feeling stuck or maybe things aren't moving uh as fast as you would like in the connection um, or there is something that you need to say and it can be your person that needs to say it somebody needs to express how they feel um, in this situation for things to transform now your energy you have the queen of pentacles and let me just say here we have water energy cancer scorpio pisces uh, earth capricorn taurus virgo we have your energy here libra gemini and aquarius you have uh, queen of pentacles and the five of wands this is your energy yeah I feel like you're struggling here and it may be um, you are wanting something more stable something more committed from your person as I was saying I feel like uh, that could be the situation where you know you, you have not gotten to that point where there has been an offer of commitment for others this could be some sort of drama that is around you okay or there could be competition uh, with your person like I said for some of you not going to be for everyone there could be another family involved possibly or somebody here dealing with an ex uh, but there is I see that you are definitely struggling with this okay there's a lot of worry here I'm seeing on your mind now your person's energy you have the two of cups and the page of cups so yeah I feel your person definitely has a very strong connection with you um, if you have not heard from your person um, or you know they have not expressed anything to you of how they feel they are going to start showing it here with this page of cups they are going to send some flirty energy or flirty messages or um, they're really going to start expressing how they feel you know this is you know this is kisses card is card of affection okay loving unconditionally and so i do feel here your person is going to uh, show you in some way shape or form <clears throat> so i'm going to pull some more cards and just ask uh, libra what your person's thoughts feelings ooh, or upcoming actions are okay so you have ooh, the seven of swords and the five of pentacles so your person may have done something in the past <clears throat> that made you feel left out in the cold so they could have been sneaky they could have been hiding they may have had another relationship or may have been dealing with an ex that's one scenario the other scenario that i'm getting here you know i always see the seven of swords too somebody who may be hiding their feelings or emotions okay um somebody who may um <clears throat> avoid conversations when it comes to commitment or they try to try to sweep things under the rug uh, kind of energy 
So uh, I see this is why you are feeling worried because this person really hasn't shown a whole lot of expression I feel in the past, but they're going to. I do see that. Let's pull some more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Um, what's Libra's person's thoughts, feelings, or upcoming actions? Let's get two cards. We have the nine of pentacles, four of pentacles. King of Cups. Yeah, look at this. So they definitely um, they definitely were holding back their emotions here. They were holding back from expressing how they feel uh, and making an offer here. However, they are very attracted to you. I'm seeing here they're very attracted uh, to you. <clears throat> they see you as somebody... Um, very stable somebody grounded uh somebody who has a lot of friends oh look what just came out they definitely have a very strong connection here with you with the lover's card yeah uh this person it could be a gemini as well but this person has a very strong connection even though they're not showing it but they're going to okay let's get one more card yeah, Three of Pentacles. They definitely want to work on things with you. Now, for those of you who um, I see here, there could be another connection, another, um, your person could be married. That is a possibility here with the Lover's card and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, I see the Lover's card as, um, you know, can be a choice between two lovers here and then Three of Pentacles. Could be three people involved. That's not going to be for everyone. But whatever the case here, I feel um, your person does want to work on things. And it's really your decision whether you want to <clears throat> work on things or not. But I do feel here you're holding back on your feelings Ooh, and your emotions. Oh, another card. Look at this. The Justice card popped up. Your energy here, Libra. So you are definitely on your person's mind. Let's pull the possible outcome. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Uh, what is Libra's? <laughs> I can't even get the question out and they keep falling out. Here we go. We've got seven of cups. Yeah. So, you know, I feel, you know, there is a sense here. Uh, your person may have other options. Okay. They've just, they may be even daydreaming about you, fantasizing about you. Uh, I'm seeing as well. Or they may just be confused in the situation. Okay, so that's why I feel like they're going to start off small. They're going to send you some sort of message, some sort of flirty message. So let's do the outcome. <laughs> what is the possible outcome here for Libra and their person? Let's get three cards, please. Okay. Bottom of the deck, here you have the Queen of Swords, your energy. So I feel here, um, Libra, with all of this, I feel like you're going to uh, make head over heart decisions here. I do feel you are going to be guarded here in the situation. I feel like you may even set your boundaries in your pers with your person, depending on your situation. Okay, so that might be uh, these feelings that you have, expressing your feelings, speaking up, okay, letting this person know where you stand kind of energy. I do see you have the Ten of Wands, okay, so it shows me again, you're very much struggling with this, it, and it has been a long haul here, or a heavy energy is weighing on you. Uh, you have the Knight of Pentacles, okay? I do see here a message coming through communication, but I also uh, see that this is something um, that's going to move at a steady pace. It's not something very quick. And then you have the Ace of Wands. So it tells me there is an opportunity here um, for you and your person for things to grow, okay? But for some of you, I just want to caution, this can be somebody Two, if you're dealing with someone in a third party, this person can uh, come back in just, you know, wanting uh, more of intimacy than anything uh, committed. So that's going to be for the, the third party people here. But if it is not third party, I feel like this is um, a, an indication that your person is coming in, um, wanting to see where things go, taking it steady. Uh, this can also be an apology as well. Okay. 
All right, Libra, I hope you gained some clarity here. Um, again, uh, details are below if you want to enter the giveaway. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.